Next up at UFC 290, we have Cameron Simon taking on Terrence Mitchell. Terrence Mitchell stepping up on short notice, but tried and true vet at this point. Dude has 17 fights. He's 15 and two overall. He is five and zero in his last five, and he's making his UFC debut a few years after a failed Ultimate Fighter run. He's taking on Cameron Simon, 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 who's undefeated in his career. He's eight zero. He's coming out the decision win over Manny Martinez. Cameron's a fun technical guy, right? He can grapple if he needs to. He does a good job stepping in the combinations. He finishes those with leg kicks. When you think you sort of have his striking cadence figured out, he'll work in some grappling. He'll do a spinning attack. He's sort of all over the place. I don't know why you're pretending to be frozen, but these are the weird autistic things that you do that everybody's like, pretty sure Jacob's autistic. And then I have you and web guy Josh in a text message being like, actually, if one of you would probably be Angela, it's ridiculous. And then you're doing this right now in front of 300 people live. I'm the weirdo, okay? You're blinking, you moron. Cameron Salmon, Salmon, Saman. As I mentioned, you'll fall in that striking rhythm. You think you have him, he's gonna shoot. He's gonna spin. He doesn't really have incredible power, but he's fast, he's accurate. He is relentless enough to get it done. He is coming off that win over Manny Martinez, but there was two wild nut shots in that fight. There was an eye poke and a point deduction. Still managed to squeak that out. He's taking on Terrence Mitchell. This guy is long. He's lean. He's a grappler. He does not have the best takedowns, but he's very dangerous if it ends up on the ground. Unfortunately for him, if you're breaking down fights, you're looking for fight tape on Terrence Mitchell, the most popular Terrence Mitchell tape out there is cocky fighter gets knocked out in 30 seconds. And he's the cocky fighter. And he was knocked out in 30 seconds on the Ultimate Fighter by Kai Car France after refusing to shake hands and just doing all the stupid bullshit you love to see in those fighters. But he is long. He is lean. He uses that really well, wrapping you up on the ground, making stuff happen. And he really doesn't suck on his feet despite being knocked out. Did you let one go right now? Ooh. Anyway, he, um, he'll he send up kicks super fast. Just send those kicks right to your head. Faster than most people. He can knock people out. He can submit people. But he can also be taken down, held down, and just sort of out technical The short notice is probably why the line is what it is. Because Terrence Mitchell is... I think Terrence Mitchell's too good to be a plus 375 favorite against an 8-0 guy. Cameron Salmon is, is good, but I haven't seen 5-1 to one favorite good out of him just yet. He's going to be smaller. He is basically a little Drikas 2 plus E. Just a, he's actually better than Drikas. He's a little more disciplined, a little better cardio, a little better technique. But they actually are similar Great in their shots. Just Great nut high, shots. <laughs> phenomenal nut shots. It is high energy, come forward pace. But... This is a tough fight. I, I don't think that this should be minus 500. I think it should be a little closer. Cameron should win, right? He should keep it technical. He's not the short notice guy here. If he keeps his combinations going, it should be a pretty straightforward decision win for him. But five to one favorite just feels a little bit wide. What do you think? Uh, yeah, yeah, I 100% completely agree, Angelo. I, I think your breakdown was absolutely fantastic for this fight. <laughs> um I believe he should be the favorite. And when we broke down this fight, yeah, I don't look at the odds. I, I was kind of guessing in the film study what the odds would be, and they would let me know. And I thought this would be about minus 250, minus 300. Um, I, I think it's gotten a little bit wide because I think Terrence is you know, a decent fighter for those odds, as Angelo already mentioned. Um, but Cameron should be able to control this fight. What I do worry about with Cameron, especially as he's moving up, because he's probably going to be a big favorite as he's undefeated. I mean, the, the, the books love undefeated fighters that are just beating everybody. So he's probably going to continue to be a, a big favorite as he moves up. And I think he trusts his his hand power a little bit too much. Or I think he thinks he has more power than he does. All his power is really in his kicks. Um, he's got really, really snappy, good kicks. He can elevate with the kicks. That's what his bread and butter is. But it feels like at times he thinks he's a knockout artist. And I think he hurt Mana in that fight. Um, you know, what's actually kind of funny is... Oh, shit. I'm listening. What's funny? No, I didn't. I didn't realize. I was like, I looked up and I didn't know what the fuck. I look. Honestly, I thought you were drinking out of a flask. The, I know. Honestly, I thought it was monitor. a flask. And I was like, oh my god, I, I really need this. <laughs> I am getting to him tonight. I mean, if you're pulling the flask. Out. <laughs> um, my favorite part is like I, I was at this fight, the Cameron Samuel Mana fight, and I get to rewatch it. I don't remember anything about those fights. I just realized I, <laughs> I don't remember a thing about those fights. Like I was watching all the point deductions. I was like, this happened in front of you? Yeah. hashtag Vegas. A lot of fun. Um, so I do worry in, in in the retrospect of him throwing those kicks, 
He throws a lot of kicks. And as you mentioned, Terrence Mitchell, if he can get on top of you, he is so long and he is dangerous there. So one of the things I do worry about is Cam with all those kicks that one is caught, he's drugged, he, he's drugged to the ground. Dragged to the ground? Dragged. Drug? When do you say drug? I, I think it's dragged. I know. You say drug at some point. Maybe, um, I don't I know. I drug something across. <laughs> no, I drug no. the dead body of, across the floor. He drug. Maybe third person is drug. No, he dragged. He, Here we go. Drug versus drag. Here, you. I'll look this up. You finish what the hell you were saying. Um, so I do worry about him throwing kicks, getting him caught, and then now he's losing a round. Um, you know, I, I don't think he's going to win the fight, but there is a possibility he might lose a round. Um, and then, you know, with Vegas judges, maybe weird things happen or whatever. But, yeah, I don't I don't necessarily see him getting a finish because I think he, he doesn't have as much power as people think he might. But um, he, he should be able to control this fight. Uh, drug isn't, uh, it says drug is used in some dialects. Dragged is the past tense form of drag. So, oh, so it's like slang. Yeah. It's your white trash middle of nowhere growing up in slang. Congratulations. Oh, I was thinking drugged. Like I was drugged a few weekends ago. <laughs> a lot of people here haven't even heard that story. I, I told the story. We're not doing the, it now. I told yeah, the story on the live stream too, Saturday. I heard it. Um, I actually, that's one of the very few stories I did here before I was it pissed funny? in my buddy's pool for about four hours. Was it funny? Well, did you enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I already knew the ending, but, um, anyway, oh no, you told it on, you didn't tell it on, you told it Thursday during the call-in show. Cause I, I told read the text I, I know I told it. I oh. said, I told it again on the live stream Saturday. So you oh. don't listen. You listen really to me, but you don't hear me sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, we're both on the camera, same inside. I am going to fade this $9,400 in DraftKings. Terrence Mitchell is better than these odds. He should probably lose. And honestly, if this was full camp versus full camp, I actually would be much more confident, Terrence. So you're going to see the heights here, that they're the same. Essentially, it's only a two-inch difference. I'm telling you, when they get... Two inches lands, is a lot. Now, that's, a, that's a big two inches. <laughs> that, let me tell two, you, that's a... <laughs> That's a big when two they, inches. When they get to weigh-ins, it's going to look a lot more than that. He is long. He's lean. I don't even know where the weight cut's going to come from. It's short notice. For that reason, um, you know, I'm leaning a little more towards Cameron, but uh, definitely going to fade him in DraftKings at that $9,400 price point. If you want full access to our DraftKings tools, the ownership projections, the optimizer, the rankings, everything you could ever need to wield, wield, build a winning DraftKings lineup. I think it is wield. We want picks.com. Click become a member. It's only $10 a month for every single thing we have ever mentioned in the history of premium membership. We have a $2 super chat from Sam. Sam took an absolute beating this past weekend, but still appreciates us and we appreciate you, Sammy boy. Thank you very much. Isn't Sam the uh, stream legend? No. Oh, well, sorry, Sam. I mean, is there and, and donates and stuff, so we do appreciate yeah, Sam. Yeah, I thought he was the guy that Patrick the Shelley guy is. The, uh, oh, okay. I think Patrick Shelley. Got humbled a little bit that co main. <laughs> we all he was he convinced me to put he's like, I'm all in on Demir. Cause that fight, even leading up to that fight, I'm a big Demir guy. But I was saying, like, I was a little bit worried on the Demir side. And I had a bet on him for the value, but it wasn't anything like the live stream. Cause I was like, what should I do? And this Patrick Shelley guy is like, I'm loaded up, loaded to the gills. Demir, Demir, Demir. So I put six hundred dollars on the money line for Demir <laughs> on the live stream. And that was a very uh, depressing fight because there was no shot. And it was boring. It was a boring loss, Just, too. There it was wasn't no even shot. There was no shot. There was not a single instance of that fight where I was like, oh, we might win. It was just fucking from the start. <laughs> well, Huey became a member on YouTube. Welcome, Huey. Uh, 